Hey guys, Chris Dunn here, aka the Boogeyman, on this episode of Boogie Tech, installing a vacuum pump on the Boogeyman. Uh, been wanting to do this for a couple of years now, and I've been trying to research what's one of the best vacuum pumps and reasonable ones on the market, and so I ended up buying a GZ Motorsports vacuum pump. Um, from what I can gather, it's a, it's, a, it's a real good vacuum pump, especially for the cost. So uh, we're going to install it on the boogeyman. And before we get a bunch of, oh my goodness, it ain't period correct, uh, I don't care. We're not going back most than likely ever to heads up gas racing that's, that's you know, going to nitpick over stuff like that. Um, not that it's against nobody, but every time that we come up with something innovative, it seems like the Heads Up Gasser series writes a rule against us. Uh, I could go in there and I, I've got like three major examples I could tell you and show. In fact, I may in the podcast, we may talk about that. But needless here to say, I don't care. We're putting a vacuum pump on. We're putting a crank trigger back on um, because we've been running, you know, the no prep stick shift stuff, which is just is so badass. I mean, it's the only real equaled heads up drag racing i kind of like it where you can take a nitrous car a turbo car and an aspirated car and, and 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 fight them against each other and they all got a chance here uh you know normally you would say a natural aspirated car would never have a chance against a uh, a turbo car or a nitrous car but it does when you go to the no prep it's it's you racing the track so uh hold on stay tuned and uh let's put this vacuum pump on Let's roll. All right, guys, let's take off this fan now. This fan right here is plastic and don't weigh but 22 ounces. Um, something I put on it for drag week, super light, don't weigh anything. And then we made a custom shroud, you see here, to pull through the radiator. And we did away with our electric fan. And uh, we also run this belt right here, this little V-belt. And the little V-belt, runs not only the water pump it runs the fan so we don't have to run two two electrical components you know we don't got to run a uh you know a water pump which is pulling power and a electric fan which is pulling power so it worked out pretty nice so far in fact i've, I've really it's did a lot better than i thought it would i'll just be honest with you um a buddy of mine, Tim Hall, did, done his that way, and that's where I got the idea from. Um, it was not all my idea. It was, a, you know, it was his. He does, does his car that way, which I kind of like. Um, you're going to watch me snip wires because we had a problem here last year, and I've got to put the plug back on that little pump. What we're going to do is take this electric motor off because it's going to be in the way of our vacuum pump. Um, I've read the directions. Uh, they're pretty good. The only thing is it don't really give you... The only thing I can com complain about is it don't really give you a good... Um, diagram it don't have a diagram of what bolt holes to use on the head so we kind of got to figure that out as we go um i'm gonna try to leave them lines for right this minute well i might as well undo them fuel lines um i'm excited to, to try these vacuum pumps i found a little bit on uh how much horsepower they might make, you know, uh, over what we already got. And I've been wanting to use one for years, uh, so I'm excited to do it. And, and, and not just for the horsepower, you know, oil leaks and, and whatnot. 
Um, it helps with all of that. So, you know, which this thing don't really got an oil leak. So, so that's a good thing. Um, it's a good looking pump. It's a good looking system. And like I said, I did some homework on it, trying to figure out which ones I wanted to use. Because, uh, you know, there's a few out there. Moroso, uh, Air Equipped, I think, makes one. So I wanted to see what went where. Now, here's something. I, on this front side of my head, I've only got one set of bolts. Uh, like I said, the only thing I don't like about this thing, it does not give you, or I can't figure out, and it could be just me, where this thing bolts to. And I ordered it for a dry, a passenger side small block. So I'm assuming I may have to add something here. I'm going to say that's the bolt hole right there. So let's uh, let's do it this way. Let's take the pump off. And look at it that way. I kind of get want to get a bird's eye view of this. Um, I may have to drill a hole um, to make this work, but we'll see. I got to take the uh, pulley off down here see I'm assuming that's only got one hole I'm gonna assume that that's the one there so you know I think we probably need to take this pulley off first and let's see if that will um and let's put this pulley on that comes with it watch me not be able to get my impact in here to even get this off nope knew that was going to do that and this engine turns over pretty doggone good so we may play Hades of getting this thing off. It's gonna suck if we do. Let me see if I can put it in gear and uh, maybe scotch the wheels with a block. Box a friend of mine give me. See if I can do it that way. The only thing sucks when you buy yourself sometimes working on this stuff. But what do you do? There we go. That worked. Now, I'm going to go take it back out of gear. But sure as well, I'll crank it up. And forget that it's in gear. So, let's take this off. Alright. We gotta take these off. And this is all stuff I made for Drag Week. So,
And we may, I want to run drag week again. I don't know if we're going to get to run it this year, though. To be honest with you. Too much stuff going on this year. Kind of hoping they'd come back to the south or somewhere a little closer. So, this is a hub I had to make right there. All right. Now, this is how this works. See how that's out far with the bolt? So, this literally bolts to right there, like so. Which I can go ahead and tell you is going to be a problem. That's going to be into my radiator. Um, I'm assuming it bolts like that. They really, like I said, the only thing I, 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 that goes into there, but the only thing I'm not crazy about is this bad boy does not give a very good um, it don't it don't got a diagram with it, which sucks when you're trying to figure out. I'm a diagram type person. I don't think I think that's out too far. Let's just mock it up for giggles. Hope that that's the right place. Um, I'm not sure. And they may have ball as universal, so you can you can uh, do what you need to. Let's see here. We may have to machine that down and see that right there is too long a bolt. Okay, so that ain't gonna work either. Um, I have no clue what just fell in the floor. Like I said, this is the only problem I've got is it don't really show, it don't show good directions on how this thing goes. Let's just um, see if we can build it up enough. To hold it. And like I said, I'm just having to guess now if this stuff's right. Cause I just ain't no, uh, ain't no good uh, thing here. I'm leaking gas like crazy. Which ain't gonna hurt nothing, but I don't like it either. There we go. Okay, let's stick the pump back on. And see if this is about right.
Okay, now, I can go ahead and tell you that I ain't crazy how far out this thing sits to the point it's going to hit the radiator. So we're going to have to take every bit of this back. So, we're going to have to do some showing up. Uh, Remachining and whatnot to get this thing back where it needs to be. Because I can go ahead and tell you now, we can't have it that far out. Let's get the pulley. Yeah. We're going to have to pull this in a good bit. All right, guys. I'm going to cut the cameras off, do some ciphering here. Um, if I can see... If I put a straight edge out here, that it's lined up, but we can't we can't be out that far. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to figure out how much machining we've got to go back to get it on because piece of aluminum flat bar I use as a straight edge. Yeah. Almost on the money. Almost on the money right there. Okay. So, we got to go back a bunch. Um, let me just see what we can do. Alright guys. I'm going to cut you off and uh, get back with you later. All right, guys, to recap earlier, I uh, cut the camera off just because we had so much to figure out here. So what we ended up doing, basically, is I moved it to the passenger side using their bracket, which worked out great. You just turned it over and it fit on the passenger side. And I figured out the configurement of bolts that I wanted. Now, I did have to modify the bracket by countersinking the hole right in here, uh, the bolt hole down there, to a like a, a pan head bolt or, or you know, a countersunk uh, uh, cap screw. Um, basically took all the spacers out of it. I'm going to put a thin washer between the bracket right here just where it don't touch. This got me away from my radiator um, completely. Got the hose hooked up because, you know, my valve covers I made already had a fit in here so that's uh gonna work now i had to order a 45 degree fitting a while ago or a 22 degree or whatever it was so it'll be here on tuesday to hook up to the can i made a bracket right here you can see coming off the head i wanted the uh canister mounted to the engine so when i go to the dyno i don't gotta rig it up so this is all but done we're gonna route the hose over to there uh, got the crank trigger started putting on. Now, I've got to take 700 thousandths off of the drive hub. So right here, I've got to take 700 thousandths off of it. And I'm probably just going to turn it down because there's more than 700 thousandths in the uh, hole of the uh, harmonic balancer and let that go on up in there, 700 thousandths deeper, and then put the bolt in it. So I do got to modify this. 700 thousandths now 
I'm only having to do that because of the way my car is configured. Um, all in all, I like this kit. Uh, the directions are a little vague on how to mount the the pump itself, but overall, I can't I can't complain. Um, far as taking the bracket that was for the right side, turning it over and putting it on the left side and reconfiguring it, I think they got a pretty good kit there that they got enough different holes in the bracket that I could do that. So all in all, it's turned out pretty nice. Um, you know, I'm not going to show, I will show you in a couple of weeks it back in the car because we're pulling the engine to go to the dyno, but I'll show you that maybe in the dyno video because as soon as we get back from the dyno, we have a race uh, seven days after that at Ware Shoals, a stick shift no prep race. So there we go, man. Uh, you know, uh, shout out to GZ Motorsports. Uh, I, like I said, so far I like their stuff. A um, little vague on the directions on the install for our mountain plate, but I, 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 it made up for it because they got so much going on here and so much universal holes in their bracket that it just worked out just fine. So all in all, got, I am going to have to put my electric fan back on my radiator where we was running the, you know, the manual fan and shroud. I'm going to have to... Uh, go back and put the electric fan back on the front of the radiator which is okay we raced it like that forever so it ain't like it's some big deal so all right guys well stay tuned next week uh hopefully we'll we either probably will have the dyno video we'll probably be something on mama boogie because tomorrow i'm going to work on mama boogie uh that's just the stats of it if you can see it i got the punch list on it I got axles ordered, the rear end. Um, I'm ready to go drive it this summer. So stay tuned, guys, to uh, Boogie Tech. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Chris Dunn, a.k.a. The Boogeyman.